So, this is my second video today. And it's a little odd, I suppose, that I waited till I went to bed to record it. Uh, it's almost 9 o'clock in the morning. And my my resources are pretty tapped right now. I'm feeling pretty tired. But uh, it's Friday the 13th. <laughs> and I just love the irony in that. Uh, anyway, I won't bore you with fun facts, but why Friday the 13th has the significance it does. But you should look it up. It's interesting. Yeah. Some uh, important people were cursed once on Friday the 13th, and they both died within a year. It was uh, interesting. They were greedy and corrupt. And the person that they killed was relatively innocent, uh, at least of the crime they accused him of anyway. I just wanted to, I know I talk about this a lot on my channel. I was going through my archives and there's all sorts of stuff about me talking about trans this and trans that and you know you wonder why you share all these things because I don't have that many viewers and I'm not what you would call an influencer uh, my channel is not monetized But I'm a, I'm a raindrop in what hopefully will be a tsunami of good intention, of people standing up for the rights um, of one another. And we all kind of got to stand up together because... The world's getting darker and darker, and it is so scary for so many. I am so lucky, personally, to be insulated in a relatively safe country. And even though I'm in Alberta, which is Canada's version of Texas, <laughs> um, I feel safe walking up and down the street. I don't think I'm going to get attacked by... Somebody who thinks I'm trying to molest their child or rape them. Now, maybe I'm naive and maybe I've just been lucky so far. <laughs> but I don't feel um, scared uh, about living in my own community. But that's because I don't live in Texas. That's because I don't live in Florida. Or pick a, pick a part of the world. If I lived in Russia, if I lived in Afghanistan, or even India, like there are so many places in the world where it is not safe for me to exist. There are so many places in the world where my kind did have rights, and now we don't because some people have decided to take those rights away. There are thousands of people right now, probably millions, in the US in various states now getting ready to move because their children aren't safe there because they'll be criminalized the parents and the children for being themselves for existing wrong that's in the land of the free I don't want to hate or demonize Americans because there are so many good Americans and even in those states that supposedly hate trans people, there are many decent, wonderful trans people and non-trans people who live there who are decent Americans. They're amazing people, and yet they're being bullied and ruled and demonized. 
and it's disgusting and it's scary. They're coming for me. They're coming for people like me. I keep explaining on my channel what dysphoria is. And there are essentially two, well, let's say three causes of death for people in the trans community. The first two are suicide. And I categorize them as two different things because the one is suicide caused by dysphoria. The other is suicide caused by shame. And they're different types of sad. And truthfully, we don't understand dysphoria well enough. We don't know why it affects some of us young and some of us old. I did not knowingly experience dysphoria until I was almost 40. Um, but I say knowingly because it's a hard one to nail down, but it does lead to suicide, and it leads to suicide a lot in our community. But the other one, of course, is shame, and we're shamed by our friends, we're shamed by our environment, we're shamed by fellow queers because we're not trans enough, or some people in the, uh, you know, the gay parts of the community don't understand the trans situation and feel it's some sort of insult. Oh, there are so many reasons we get shamed. But the third cause of death for us is these, you know, people who decide that we're criminals and that they have to, you know, protect their children or some stupid shit like that. Marsha P. Johnson, she died in 1992. I was in the 8th grade in 1992. And I didn't know I was trans at the time. I didn't know I would give a crap about her or anybody in the little one. I just didn't know. She was the, uh, the face of the Stonewall movement, in case those of you who don't know. And... She was beaten the head and dumped in the river where she drowned. And her crime was existing. And that sort of thing is going to make a comeback because of these stupid laws and these people who don't understand. The same people who are taking away our rights in Texas and in Florida are the same people who were attacking Jagmeet Singh. And while they're not the exact same people because people attacking Jagmeet were Canadians and those other ones are Americans, the mentality is the same. And the funding for that Occupy Canada or shit that happened this year came from those same people. The Texas governor was very upset that suddenly they couldn't send money to Canada to influence our government through acts of terrorism. <laughs> Sorry, border um, blockades and city occupations seemed an awful lot like domestic terrorism to a lot of us up here. That's the people in Ottawa how they felt about it. They felt terrorized. They felt unsafe to walk their own streets because they might get beat up because they might look like me. This is not okay. What's going on in Texas and the rest of the U.S. Taking away women's rights to abortion, taking away human rights to exist as yourself. If America is the guiding light of freedom, it has definitely lost its path and it's affecting all of us. If you were in favor of Occupy Canada, you were in favor of seeing people like me beaten ahead and thrown in the river. 
So it's hard for me to be friends with you when you're okay with me being killed. When you're okay with me killing myself because I become shamed or the dysphoria gets to be too much. The best time to deal with this trans condition is when you were a child. Like between 10 and 18 is the best time for you to transition. You start off socially, you talk to experts, you find out what it is that you need for yourself because it varies from each individual. And we do our best not to do anything permanent until that person knows that's what they want. And that's how it's supposed to be done. And we've had this knowledge for a long time now. Holding it back on from people is torturing them intentionally. And there's no excuse for that. There's a reason so many of us kill ourselves. And it's not because... It's not because there's something wrong with us. I mean, there is something wrong. We're not in the right gender. We're not in the right body. That's what's wrong. If you were forced to be in the wrong gender, if you were forced to be in the wrong body, even though you think, well, of course I'm born a boy, or of course I'm born a girl, that could never be anything else. If you were forced to go into the opposite thing that you're not, Eventually, the sadness would take you too, and many of you would also take your lives if you were forced to live in the wrong gender. Yes, this thing needs lots of study, and it would be wonderful to understand why we get so sad and what causes these triggers at different times. That would be great information to have. But none of that information will stop us from being trans. We all have the right to exist as ourselves. It doesn't matter if you're in Texas. It doesn't matter if you're in Russia or Afghanistan. We are everywhere. It makes me so sad that our freedom-loving societies are so eager to see us dead. Sorry these RC corners are so bum and are so down lately. I am still thinking about my cousin a lot. I'm also thinking, how's my family gonna react when they get that call from the police? We found Darcy's body. She's been dead in this Whatever. Could be my apartment. Could be my vehicle. They could pull me from a river. Are you okay with that? Would you want that for me? Why would you want it for anyone else? These are real lives real people who matter that you're killing with your ignorance you should know that anyway I wanted to get these thoughts recorded and out of my head before I fell asleep yeah this is what I think about all the time I wish it didn't. I'd much rather talk about these.